Okay, this one might seem like a stretch, but I think I might be onto something. Yeah. So when we were in the previous area, I think the lights were red. I think they were red, green, and, and blue, right? I'm not totally sure. But these ones seem to be orange, green, and blue. Yeah. Orange, green, and blue. I was trying to figure out what the hell that means, because like he has a he has the periscope that's just pointing at that bizarre name, Bob Ogubu, which is an entire name consisting of three letters. Again, I should turn them all off because they were all off before. I mean, let's give it a go, right? So Bob, B. O B Be easier in first person. So B O B O G O O B O Bob Ogubu. Wait, hey, hey. Both lights are on. I was about to question, like, did they, was there a victory chime? I don't know if it was just because they have a really long tail on their sound, so if I pressed a bunch of them in a row, it might just have sound like a victory chime. But those are both lit up. That's it, that's it. Uh, which one of you... think that was the classroom? Or are you new? Hello. Ah, did we find the actual chapter now? Where stuff happens? This is a creepy little place. Another one of you guys. That looks like an egg. Oh, the doors themselves are shaped like it. There appear to be four separate things. Can you close these? Or you do close these. Oh no. I think that's supposed to be in the middle. Whoops. That doesn't look like that does not look right. Uh why would I want to close them though? The crack going through this hallway. Like, they're custom pages. Do I get to have, like, a checkpoint around here or something? Like, if, if I have to warp out of here, I'm gonna want faster access. Admittedly, the, admittedly there might be a page for this place that I haven't found yet. Uh, I didn't necessarily closely examine the books I was going through, so there might have been a direct port to here that I was failing to notice. Oh, there's the room. Okay. Got turned around. Reversing a room will do- a place will do that. What happens if I click on this? Trying to figure out how this works. When I clicked on the book before, he just went right in without touching the panel. So I'm curious whether or not touching the panel might register it to this thing. Kirel. That's new. Now we have the ferry terminal Bevan and Kirel.
Okay, that's something. I'm here again. Like, down the hallway from where I was a moment ago. Alright, cool. That's kind of faster? I'm not totally sure. Right now I can warp to the spy room. And from the spy room I can warp to... His... Uh... His home. The, the, the name skipped on me for a moment there. I'm like, I lo I've lost it. Uh, the Relto. His Relto. I can warp from his Relto to here, I guess. That's Spy Room, then Relto, then here. Alternatively, I could warp to the Nexus, then to here. So that would work. It's one less step, but then I have to use that terminal, which is kind of slower. I don't know. I'm not sure if there's a really fast way of getting here. But what are you guys? Hmm. More familiar sights, but different. Oh. Oh, they're letting me walk right up to this. Oh, I will definitely fall. Hey, look at this place. Oh, that's the dock down there. I'm gonna finally get a chance to see some of these other parts of this area. If I can get out of here. There is a hole in the universe right there. There we go. Oh, right. Yeah. If I do that, you have to add yourself to the list. There we go. So that'll be growing then. So the Nexus must be the the central thing that attaches everything in this chapter, or this DLC, or whatever you want to call it. So warping there, I'll be able to go directly to each of these places if I could remember their names. Or even identify their names. Look at this place. You are here. Ferry, Tokoda, Tokoda 2, Museum, Guild Hall, Palace, Concert Hall, Library. Hmm. Weird how Tokoda 2 is numbered as sooner than Tokoda 1. I guess they must have come up with Dakota 1 and Dakota 2 as being names first, but then when they made the map, they wanted to go kind of left to right in this snaking pattern with the numbers. And so in order to make the numbers be in order, they had to be they had to reverse the order of Dakota 1 and 2. I've been down there before. But yeah, this staircase had things blocking it. I have trouble accepting the idea that I couldn't take those stairs because there was like a little barrier in the way that's just one of those things I had to use fucking magic to go around that are you serious like why it's so it's just absurd that I had to use magic doors to get around that what am I looking at I'm not sure something red ish I accept it more when we're looking at, like, locked doors and distant areas past collapsed bridges and stuff like that. But when I, uh, have to use the magic book stuff hours and hours later to finally get to see past a tiny barrier on a staircase, that stuff's weird. Okay, wasn't expecting you to open. I keep looking for journeys even though those seem to not be relevant anymore. Is this a boss chamber? Hey there. Not sure if I've been down there or not. Oh. Okay.
astonishingly massive creatures in the top corner there. I, d I didn't notice the guy on the left at first. The, or, I, or I wasn't thinking about him, so I kind of thought everything was that big. And I'm like, how big is that monkey scorpion creature? But no, they're all... All the ones in the bottom are about human height or way less compared to this guy. So like this thing's human height in this position at least, and that stuff's all way smaller. And that stuff is massive, and a lot of this stuff looks dangerous. That thing's got a scorpion tail. Am I ever going to see any of these creatures? This looks like some kind of study hall or scripture type place where lines of people have to work on their data. Look at that guy. Oh. You've been cut out. Wonder why. Some petty disagreements? It seems like the uh, the, the top echelon of the Denis were a bunch of shitty nobles that were petty and vain and wanted status and spited each other, so I wouldn't be surprised if they were responsible for that being taken out. Are you a book or a note? You're one of these guys. Okay. Do I do anything here, though? Look at that hat. Look at the weird... Let me through, there's a weird door! Hat. What's wrong with you, protagonist? You're so ineffectual. I'm so disappointed in you. Can I trade you in for a new one? I swear to God. <laughs> I just want to go over there and look at the weird door and whatever's attached to the front of it. And this guy's like, but there's small barriers, that's impossible. I guess it's probably that. Looks like a hand mirror upside down. Climb? No climb. Really, you're blocked off too? They're just taunting me here. Ah! I assume this was all eventually going to become available. That's why it's so awkwardly blocked off by kind of cheap looking barriers that just don't look... They don't look great in a video game. They look weird. Although it might... They might it might be because they just look so out of place in this location and that might have been intentional because it's like modern human stuff infringing upon cool Denis ruins. But it bothers me. And I imagine they're probably planning on making a whole lot more content. And that's why this, there's so much of the stuff blocking so many paths, because they were going to make stuff there. Like, look, that's where I was. Right down here is the previous zone, right? Or not quite? What's going on here? There, yeah, that's the previous zone. Those are the walls I couldn't get past. Look at the perfectly functioning staircase leading up here. I found this place hours, like hours and hours ago. I found this place before I did any of the, of the chapters, and I couldn't do it because the character couldn't be bothered to move a small barrier out of the way in an uninhabited area. Like, those things are silly. Am I floating? I feel like I'm floating. No, you're not keeping me out of here. There we go. You can't defeat me. Uh-oh. How'd that even happen? That's not rust. Did it get hit by a laser? 
Are these lights? What are these? Oh, a bar. Maybe? I mean, those are hilariously oversized bottles for alcohol. But maybe they have different standards for that stuff. a door maybe maybe collapsed door maybe it wasn't supposed to be slanted it might have been supposed to be attached there until it fell or something that is kind of like the cleft shape isn't it I don't know any random crevice could kind of be compared I guess we're not getting past this one. Damn it. This appears to be a dead end with nothing for me to use or interact with or solve or read. Seems to be a destroyed club. It's all familiar territory down there. Let's see if I can climb back up or if I or if I fell off a lip I can't climb back up again. That's just some fallen stuff. Yeah. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. You cannot defeat me so easily. Not with this power. This place is absolutely massive. That's the collapsed bridge. We've seen that. Am I going to get to go down there now? We've seen that all before from like up there, I think. So I was up there and I've looked down here from there. Maybe we'll get a chance to visit. We're suddenly almost we suddenly kind of kind of got free reign of the place when I had wanted that for a while this is not an effective gate you could just crouch through there and go right in Not totally sure what to make of the hieroglyphs that indicate what each location is. We saw that already. Can I sneak through here? I can. It looks a lot like the barriers that you can't sneak through, but here we go. I didn't come from here, did I? Another connection to the Nexus. I'll take it. Oh. What's in these? King Jock Ring. King Visha. King Alzbth. These are some crazy names. King Nidra. So it's a history room. These are all DRC documents. 
King G. King Adesh. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's 34. Not counting the ones that are turned off. There are 34 of these in total. Let's pick a random one. Let's see here. Pop up on my phone. You can probably do like a random number. Might as well read one of them, right? Then that'll be like a sampling, because there's so many. And they, they can't be that relevant, right? It seems like there'd be a huge commitment to read all of them. Just like how there's also that other place that has like a bunch of Denis customs and then even more kings, basically. All right, Google, give me a number between one and 34. Generate. 19. All right. 17, 18, 19. We got King Tiamel. All right. Not too long. Tiamel took the throne in 3422 at the young age of 39. Like his father, Tiamel's major concern was personal pleasure. Unlike his father, he seemed to be not nearly as clever at hiding his true intentions from his people. In spite of Tiamel's inability to lead, a few worthwhile historic events were carried out during his reign. First was the construction of Stone Eater in 3469. Though Tiamel really had nothing to do with the Guild of Miners' first colossal tunneling machine, he claimed quite a bit of the credit at its christening. Grandmaster Namen of the Ma Guild of Miners, who did spearhead the effort, was irate at the lack of mention of his own name during the speech and made his own thoughts public in the days that followed. Like his father, Tiamel carried out relations with quite a few different women. Besides his wife, Shama, who he married in 3477, unlike his father, it was said of Tiamel that these women, including his wife, much more easily persuaded him. Public opinion clearly believed that Shama was a rather incredible woman. woman. Why she stayed with him through his entire life, even through his well-publicized affairs, was not as clear. Some said she used Tiamel and the marriage for her benefit, as she definitely had his ear. Others said it was because she was a faithful follower of Yavo and believed that the promise she had made to him was not meant to be broken. It's interesting they talk about like why did they stay together? I mean they were married, right? It shows how like the the sanctity of marriage as proclaimed by the wedding ceremony document I read isn't that strong if there was supposed like uncertainty about why this person stayed with the person that they were with. It's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Why don't they have to stay together? Let's see. That was the first asterisk, right? Let's see, she she definitely had his ear, written by the prophetess about it in private journals. Believed that the promise she had made to him was not meant to be broken, from Sh from Shama, written by Leyland, thirty eight ninety. So these are all sources. Regardless, it seemed that Shama was an intelligent woman who, though it was never stated publicly, for all practical purposes, held the throne from 3477 on. In 3500, women became eligible for minor guild education. Though there had been women participation in the minor guilds before that point, actresses, etc., they had never been officially recognized as members of those guilds. Though there was a push to allow women to join the major guilds as well as the minor, Shama herself gave a strong case not to allow such an event to happen in 3523.
Shama argued against women being in the guilds as a woman. Bummer. She strongly disagreed with women being in governmental positions. A seemingly ironic view as she was basically king of Denis at the time of her speech. Regardless, she argued that women had much more important duties including the guiding of children. The push for such allowances seemed to fade away in the years following her speech. In 3574, Shama gave birth to Tiamel's first son, at least that the public knew of. <laughs> for the remaining years of Tiamel's reign, Shama focused on the raising of her son, whom she vowed would not be the same kind of man as his father. A daughter was born 30 years later, and Shama raised her with equal resolve. Again, though the people were not led well, they remained strong in their beliefs and purposes, somewhat ignoring the bad relation, uh, leadership of Tiamel, and instead focusing on the high example of his wife. Tiamel passed away from an unknown disease in 3654 at the age of 271, giving the throne to his firstborn son. Yeah, just imagine that they're all just as interesting as that. Which, that was actually interesting. Like, that actually, like... It's, a, it's interesting how that one in particular feels histor uh, to be of historic merit. Like, like this a woman leading the Denis and a bunch of other stuff happening and interesting little twists and turns and a little short narrative and some characterization of a few different people. And this place is fucking full of it. You can't accuse them of not writing a backstory of the, of, uh, of the Miss Universe. So many books, and also a bunch of missing ones, but I think the missing ones... Some of them might be missing from history, and some of them might be the ones that were in that other room still being worked on. Maybe. There's a close-up on that bridge. Closer. There's the whole area I saw from uphill. Yeah, that. So that's where one of my things links me to, right? Is right there, and I can see this all from there. Hmm. That's so many stairs. <laughs> Hello. We're in, we found ourselves inside of a limestone cave with the usual deposits. Can't get any closer? Guess not. Oh, there's like an invisible wall here. Try to look at that picture. Oh, it's the, uh, this is the, the bridge. I didn't really... I don't think I realized there was a, a rope bridge going across it, giving you full access. Oh, you're not a dead end either. Should I go back to the other direction? Oh, this is gonna be a lot of backtracking to check that other direction, if I even remember it. Uh oh. Oh, checkpoint. Definitely grab that. So I'm like filling in a map now, right? Not getting back there. Oh, uh, this is probably all dead end. Nope, you can keep going. Oh, shit. Cannot approach the window, though. Hmm. I'll keep going. For all I know, the other path is also absolutely massive. You can't really know unless you check. And if I get indecisive and go back and forth a lot, I'll just have a lot more backtracking. Whereas, at, at worst case scenario, I could just warp to that place I just got. 
and then go back up from there. Am I on? Yeah. I'm now in the broken area that we saw from when we were up there. It seems so much smaller up close than it looked like it was. It would be from up there. There's no people for scale. It was just a piece of land you could see. Chunks of it chipping away. He's done open. At least not yet. They've got the gem to interact with, so maybe. Maybe later. Whereas that's a fake-ass door that's definitely never opening. Am I all the way back at the top? Oh. This is where I took the staircase down? Yeah. I didn't even realize that that was connected, I guess. Or that I could go through there. Yeah, so I was like standing here like, I wonder if we'll ever go down there. And right next to me was the way down. It's hard to tell because there's so many of those barriers they don't let you through that whenever, whenever I do get to go through, I'm caught by surprise. I guess we'll try the other path. I'm a little disappointed just because I, I did solve, I did do a little puzzle with that keyword to get here. But I'm trying to find puzzles again. I feel like the puzzle density was just kind of more appealing in the main Myst games. There's just so much huge spread out areas that are mostly just a setting. It kind of feels like they designed the setting first and then figured out how to add a through line and puzzles and story content after. Which makes sense because they literally did design this place first. Because <laughs> there's a they wrote a book about this place almost a decade before this game came out. So I can see how that would happen. So I went down there last time, yep. But, like, it's just a giant expansive area, like, they're living their dream of getting to make the Denis city that they always planned on making. But without the... ...density of content. Like, I just think of, like, those two prison ages that... Akinar, Cirrus and Akinar ended up at, and those places... ...were so full of stuff to do. And discover. And there was a bunch of flailing around trying to figure out where to go and what anything meant and so on, but there was definitely stuff everywhere. Whereas this is a lot of cracked stone and safety cones. If these are supposed to stop you from coming in, they're not doing a good job. They also repeat every 20 feet sometimes, which is weird, like... Who was supposed to even get this far? Like, there were so many barriers stopping me from coming this far. Why is there another barrier here? Were they expecting people to ignore the other barriers? The barriers almost... Like, these barriers make perfect sense. The ones that mark out hazards. But the ones that just keep blocking the passageway forward over and over again feel redundant. Because there's... There's always more of them after the previous ones. I didn't expect it to let me go in there. <laughs> You're way the hell up here. And I'll point out this is an example of what I was talking about when I talked about how close the skyboxes felt in other levels. This one doesn't. It feels way the hell out there. And in fact, that appears to be a 3D model, which is pretty far away. And then even further back there is, like, eventually is a skybox. The skybox doesn't feel like a wall I can physically see. It feels like it really is out there. It's weird to talk about the idea of a skybox working because they've always worked all the time. But it's, yeah, that one weird Zen garden place and then later on the the weird island swirling water swim place. 
uh, both had skyboxes where it, you could physically see the perspective of the of the wall that they were placed on from the distance you were at. And I'm just sitting there like, what? I I can see the wall. Like it, you, you can, it's normal to see the texture. It's not normal to physically see the wall the texture's on and see it shift with your perspective, letting you know how far away it is, which is pretty not far. And then be like, those clouds are painted on the ceiling. It reminds me of Las Vegas. Las Vegas, there's a... There's a casino, hotel, resort thing or whatever that is meant to be like the city of Venice. And when you're going around in there, the whole ceiling is painted with clouds and whatnot. I think there was also a fake... I think there was also a fake sky in the Citadel in Mass Effect. But like you can clearly see in that Venice looking place, you can clearly see the ceiling. And it's just got a sky painted on it. And it's all lit up. And that's what it looks like in those moments. You just there's moments where you can just tell, like, that's physically close to me. Oh no, can I can I not do anything here? Look! Jesus. <laughs> it looked like such a fake wall. I didn't expect it to move. Again? I was already down there before. It's another thing where my character wouldn't climb the stairs because there was a thing saying, don't do it. That was so loud compared to how chill everything was. <laughs> I've gotten really good at getting startled by loud noises that were not meant to be startled. Startling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already been to the bottom floor of this place. It's where I got the journal. The first journal I read, actually, I think. Was the bottom floor of here. Hello. There's a bunch going on in here. Guildmaster Anem. Meerta, Kedri, and Meaman. Hmm. Gotta make up my mind whether I want to read those or not, I guess. And this goes even further down. Yeah. This place is huge. <laughs> 